All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there, just like you and just like me. So I'm actually prepping for an interview with uh, Scott Ritter, which you can see over on my other channel. It's called The Radical Independent. Scott is a great guest, and uh, you should check that out. Now, <laughs> prior to that, <clears throat> I was checking out, you know, what happened overnight in the world of music. And sure enough, Jonathan Cain has gone nuclear. Jonathan Cain has gone nuclear on um, Neil Sean. And I guess, you know, there's a lot of nuclear news, like real news, you know, about how there might be nuclear war. So uh, you can watch the other channel for that. But uh, <clears throat> in the world of Journey, the, the 12 days of scandal, right? We're on day 10. I might have to write a song. <laughs> Maybe Christmas Eve, I'll sing the 12 days of scandal, right? With Journey. Um, so anyway, I'm reading this article and there's bias in writing. I've told people my view on Trump, but the whole media is constantly against Donald Trump in a way that goes beyond like paranoia. You hear about Trump derangement syndrome. People just can't let it go. Um, they're trying so hard to prevent him from running for president again. He's not my first choice for president next time around. Just throwing that out there. But in all fairness, some of the stuff that gets written, just it, it goes beyond gratuitous in its um, negativity toward Trump or anyone that associates with Trump. Case in point. So before Jonathan Cain's nuclear statement, which it is absolutely scorched earth on Neil Sean, um, the article says here, uh, Journey keyboardist Jonathan Cain has fired back at his bandmate Neil Sean after the Journey guitarist called him a hypocrite for performing the band's 1981 hit song Don't Stop Believing" at Trump's Mar-a-Lago property. Cain, whose wife, Paula White Cain, is the former president's self-styled spiritual advisor. What, what does that actually mean? You're a self-styled, like you are styling yourself. I'm a self-styled YouTube guy, me. No, I, I'm on YouTube. This is what I do. So she was actually an advisor to President Trump for better or worse, all right? Whether your opinion is good about her or not, um, she's not a self-styled spiritual advisor. See, when, when people have a bias, all right. They try to find ways, creative ways to write in their bias. And this kind of irritates me. And so I'm picking apart that, which isn't really the most important part of this whole, you know, dust up between Kane and Sean. And again, this is this is nuclear war right now between these two guys. So um, I might change my mind, by the way, about the, the journey tour. If this keeps happening, I don't know how they stand on the same stage together. Um, and that's another theory. And I'll be talking about that. I think I mentioned the fact that maybe Neil is trying to get John to quit earlier on. I think John was trying to get Neil to quit and neither guy is quitting. So anyway, they go on to talk about the backup chorus of Marjorie Taylor Greene. I think they stole that from me, uh, Kimberly Guilfoyle and Carrie Lake. All right. Uh, earlier today, Kane released the following statement. Okay. This is over the top and brutal to Neil Sean. Neil Sean should look in the mirror when he accuses me of causing harm to the Journey brand. I have watched him damage our brand for years and am a victim of both his and his wife's bizarre Behavior. Neil sued Live Nation twice, losing both times. This is according to Jonathan Kane. Neil Sean denies losing and damaging our ability to ever work with them again. 
Now, I know Neil doesn't like uh, the whole Azov crew. Um, so that's another issue. And I think that's part of why uh, Neil is, you know, was trying to sue Live Nation. Anyway, Neil outrageously tried to take away trademarks from Steve Perry. So John Kane here is defending Steve Perry on the trademark issue. Neil and his wife continually insult the professionalism of numerous accountants, road managers, and management firms with endless legal threats and their bullying, toxic, and incoherent emails. Neil argues online with fans who don't see eye to eye with him, and Neil and his wife recklessly spend Journey's money until there is none left for operating costs. If anyone is destroying the Journey brand, it is Neil and Neil alone. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's nuclear war. And um, I may, again, change my mind about next year. I mean, they're, they're selling tickets, and they're both, like, you know, signing off on the new manager, for instance. Okay, so Journey is under new management. Is the manager doing anything? to, to kind of shut these guys down and say, hey, let's not do this in public, right? And then you've got Hypnosis, who manages all of this, right? Who manages two-thirds of it. And I'm sure they want the brand to be a positive thing for them to sell and market and promote. And so they probably aren't too happy about all of this and Where's the manager? Is the manager going to step in and say, okay, guys, now Kane's statement uh, is going to make Neil Sean go ballistic. All right. And it'll be interesting to see what Neil has to say, um, answering these allegations that he's losing in court and that he's ruining the brand. And I think overall, folks, as a brand, um, things are in trouble at this point. I was saying about a week or two ago that the show will go on and I think it will go on. I don't know how they're going to get their acts together here. A lot of the legal stuff is going to happen in January and February. And uh, the tour comes right then and there, not too long after that. Um, it, it, this is just going to be crazy to see how this all shakes out. And, Again, where is management and when is this going to stop? I mean, this is no really positive way to celebrate the holiday season. I can tell you that, um, but it continues. And I'm sure uh, Neil Sean is going to fire back with both barrels. Um, again, I don't think the band should be used in a political setting. Journey was never political to begin with. Um, and I would say that on either side, whether you're a Democrat and you like Journey and you're hoping that they're going to be all supportive of your views, or if you're Republican and you like Journey and you're thinking, okay, if we could just co-opt this brand and take it away from Neil Sean, then we can make it into something that it wasn't intended to be. That's my theory on it a little bit, but I don't think that should happen. It's too bad that these guys can't just get along. Now, I'm wondering what Arnell is thinking, what Dean is thinking, what all of these other guys in the band are thinking that maybe this is a sinking ship and they need to get off the boat before it sinks. I don't know. I'm thinking they've got to do the tour next year. They've got to do it. But I'm thinking at this point, everything is on the table. This might all just go down the drain. And if there is truth in what Kane is saying, Sean, of course, denies it. He's got his own argument back. It's almost like they're arguing on two different planes of thought. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how this all shakes itself out. So, yeah. Jonathan Cain goes nuclear on uh, Neil Sean. And speaking of nuclear, uh, check out my interview with Scott Ritter. 
a little bit later on. It'll be up over on the Radical Independent. That's actually the more important stuff. This is more for entertainment value over here. But man, it's it's just going crazy right now. And um, it's day to day. The 12 days of scandal continue here uh, on YouTube and all over the world with Journey. And you could depend on me for updated coverage of this uh, back and forth between these two guys. Uh, I don't think this is going to end well, folks. It just doesn't appear like it's going to.